25 years after Mahatma Gandhi's death, a 73-year-old Jayaprakash Narayan, popularly known as JP, returned to politics from retirement to lead post-independent India's most storied political movement. In 1974, JP responded to a student's call in Bihar and tapped into people's anger to lead a popular movement that shook the foundations of the Congress led by Indira Gandhi. JP, though not in the best of health, transformed the student movement which started as a demand to check soaring mess bills and education reforms into a fight for democracy and the removal of corruption. The JP movement gradually turned into a show of strength between JP and Indira, which shook the foundation of government and finally led to the imposition of the emergency, the defeat of Indira and the formation of the Janata Party government. Indira Gandhi was at the pinnacle of her power in 1971 after her victory in the Lok Sabha elections and the Bangladesh war. But the burden of war and refugees followed by drought resulted in a sharp price rise, food shortages, unemployment and a fall in industrial production. The economic crisis created a wave of strikes and unrest on campuses and in factories. The spark to the JP movement was lit by students in Ahmedabad and it spread to campuses all over Gujarat. Hundreds died in police firing and the army was deployed to control the situation. Joined by trade unions and middle class professionals, the movement was christened the Nav Nirman Andolan. Chiman Bhai Patel, Gujarat's chief minister, resigned in February 1974, handing victory to the protesters. Keenly watching the movement, JP said, I saw students in Gujarat bring about a political change with the backing of the people and I knew this was the way out. The Nav Nirman movement inspired students in Bihar who came together on a platform called the Bihar Chhatra Sangharsh Samiti. They demanded education reforms, jobs, a check on prices and corruption, failing which they called for the resignation of Chief Minister Abdul Ghafoor. On the 18th of March 1974, thousands of students laid siege to the Bihar Assembly. The police responded with tear gas and firing. On the 6th of April, JP declared that he would no longer remain a mute spectator to the government's repressive measures and agreed to lead the movement. He launched a series of programs of protests on the pattern of Gandhi's civil disobedience, which took the form of a people's movement. On the 5th of June 1974, addressing a meeting of about 1 million people in Patna, JP explained his concept of Sampurna Kranti. It would aim to bring about revolutionary change in political, economic, educational and cultural spheres of life. Upset by the growing popularity of the movement, Indira made a fatal mistake around this time. She accused JP, without taking his name, of living on the largest of corrupt people at a public meeting in Gubaneshwar on the 1st of April 1974. JP and Indira had shared mutual respect for each other as a legacy of JP's friendship with her father, Jawaharlal Nehru. But Indira's personal attack on him brought their relationship to a breaking point. On the 4th of November, JP was hit by a police baton while leading a procession in Patna. It broke two of his ribs. Losing patience with the movement, JP shifted gear and vowed to dislodge the Congress from power. The campaign for Indira's removal got an unexpected boost on the 12th of June 1975 when the Allahabad High Court pronounced her guilty of electoral malpractices and disqualified her as an MP from Rai Bareilly. Pressing for Indira's resignation, JP addressed a meeting in Delhi on the 25th of June 1975 where he called upon the police and the armed forces to disobey the immoral orders of the government. On the midnight of June 25th, Indira imposed the emergency. JP and opposition leaders were sent to jail. The movement met an unexpected end 
but the simmering of people's anger against Indira led to her ouster in the 1977 elections. The movement achieved the objective of Indira's removal, but JP's lofty goal of Sampurna Kranti lay in tatters. Janata Party leaders, a motley group, mostly from the Janasang and various types of socialists, came to power riding the wave of the JP movement. But the ragtag government collapsed a few months before JP died on the 8th of October 1979. A firebrand leader, JP was a hero of the 1942 Quit India movement. His integrity and commitment to democracy was impeccable. He was invited by Nehru to join his government, but he shunned electoral politics in 1954. Twenty years later, he returned in the hope of ushering in a Sampurna Kranti, a weak concept which died with JP. But the JP movement spawned a crop of young leaders like Lalu Prasad Yadav, Nitish Kumar and Arun Jaitley who rose to dominate the political landscape in the decades to come.